All right, we're back. So we got the car fully painted last night. Now, as you guys can see, the fenders are looking really good. You guys can see the paint is really nice on them. Got the other fender right here. And the bumper as well is looking really, really good. And the doors on both sides were actually blended into so that way all the panels align and they're the same color. If you guys can see right here, I mean, the car is dirty, give or take, but you can see like there is almost no difference in the color. It's looking really good. Um, along with that, I was going to mention that the hood, because we did do repairs on it and prior to us buying the hood, whoever had it before us has either repaired it and it's been painted multiple times. So whatever they used to do the repairs in the past, it basically reacted with the paint. Now, if you guys can see, there is some kind of like spotting. You guys can see that right there. On I know on camera you'll be able to see it, but it's all over the hood. Now that is caused to the paint reacting to something that was used previously, not by us, but whoever repaired it or whatever they've done to this hood before us. This hood will most likely need to be painted in the future, but I think for now, we're just gonna be going ahead and putting everything together, trying to get this rebuild project done because there is also stuff to do on the interior. So we're just gonna go ahead today, just kind of finish up putting the car together in the front end and we'll see how far we get. All right, guys, so Philip went to go pick up some parts. But in the meantime, what we're going to be doing is the car has a few crushed wires that we need to uh, fix, which we're going to do now. Right here, we have two wires that were crushed and that we're going to go ahead and repair those by soldering them together. And I'll show you that right now. So right here, you can see the two ends. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mesh splice. It's where you take the strands, you kind of split them apart like that. Same here, you split these ones apart. And then you take, you take them and you mesh them together. But before we do that, let's put on our heat shrink so we don't forget. Here's our heat shrink. them together just like that right. that's gonna be our mesh there's our splice right there what we can do now is just bring our heat shrink over it cover it up and heat shrink it down and we'll do the same for the other wire here Alright, so if you guys ever have the BMW with the Sulev version, which means it has the Sulev radiator, it comes with this uh, radiator sensor right here. These radiators are really dumb because they cost maybe three times as much as the radiator for the regular N52 328, while this N51 comes with this radiator. And just because of this sensor right here, it costs a lot of money. So what we're gonna do is, my brother actually removed it. So he was able to basically kind of pry these tabs up. Usually it's really hard to get these tabs out, but he was able to get it out. So thankfully we should be able to put this on the new one and it should be working just as it was on this one. Now you always have to be careful because these little clips right here on the sides, these little arms actually are very fragile. So it's possible they could break when you're taking them out and then you're gonna have to like glue it on here or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and continue and start assembling the pieces for the front end and see how far we can get. So I'll take you guys to a time-lapse of that. <laughs> 